Hi Believes. Get rid of limiting beliefs on how to live. How are you? What's your day like today? And as the title said today about beliefs. So you might say, okay, okay, why are beliefs so important? What is it about beliefs that I need to pay attention to so much? Well, beliefs is something that we live our life by, you know. We might not be aware of it, and we're usually not. That's why they're called beliefs, because they're sort of running somehow an autopilot. So what is belief? Belief starts as a thought. Thought that gets repeated often again and again and again through the years. That becomes automatic. Then we are not even aware anymore that we have it. But it's so deep inside ourselves that we call, call it like a core belief. And, and everything we do in life is sort of directed and run by these core beliefs or beliefs we have inside ourselves. So when does a belief become a limiting belief? Why is a belief a limiting belief? When it actually just prevents you from living your life the way you want or creating your life the way you want, achieving what you want in life. You might have, have some goals in your head that you want to achieve, but there is something, something inside you that just stops you from, from achieving what you want to achieve. And no matter how hard you try, no matter how many hours and how much effort you put in it, it, it just doesn't happen for you, okay? So it can be very frustrating. And oftentimes you might just give up. But what you need to do really is change your beliefs. It is not that difficult. But you need to understand that your beliefs are running your life. And that you need to change them in order to shape your life the way you want it. Get rid of frustration, enjoy life to the fullest, and so on and so on and so on. So you need to plunge into some life lessons, okay? I know you might not be interested in it, but it might be in your best interest to actually do it. So like, imagine, you know, somebody growing up in the environment where, you know, they, they repeat certain things and, and, and they sort of talk to that person about certain values and, and certain things that they need to do in life again and again and again. Maybe not just the parents, but the people who live around them, their friends and the, the teachers and so on and so on. And all these thoughts that are being repeated are sort of being, you know, inside them. And they sort of took them in as their own. And because they've been perpetuated again and again and again, they are now so deeply seated inside them, inside us. We all have them, but we need to clear them out. We have to do a spring clean inside here in our subconscious mind. And that's why we need to get rid of, and you need to get rid of your limiting beliefs to be able to live your life to the fullest. There are all sorts of limiting beliefs, okay, that you, you know, you're not getting anywhere if you don't have some good schooling behind you. Without a formal education, you're nowhere in life. Your childhood um, absolutely determines the way your life is going to be. You can't do anything about it. Your fate determines the way your life is going to be. So maybe just chill and just, you know, lay back a little bit and don't really put much effort in it because it does not really matter, and so on and so on and so on. There are so many limiting beliefs. Like rich people are crooks, you know, uh, having too much money is bad for you. You know, you need to work hard all your life or you're not, not going to get anywhere. Um, you know, you need to have one um, person that you live with for the rest of your life, one marriage and be whatever, 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 never look anywhere else. And so on and so on and so on. You need to have a proper job, whatever that is, and so on and so on. Otherwise, you're not getting anywhere in life, and so on and so on. This might be your limiting beliefs. And then at a certain point in life, you, you might realize with your critical mind that actually, no, you know, you do want to drop out of school. You do want to have more than one marriage or have more than one partner. You do want to have a lot of money. You do want to do all sorts of things that they were telling you that are not good for you, but you want to do them and you decide to do them. Do them. But because, if you don't clear out your limiting beliefs first and change those beliefs into the ones that are actually in harmony with what you want now at this point in life, it's not going to happen for you. It doesn't matter how hard you try. It is not going to happen. 
That's why getting rid of limiting beliefs is number one thing when we want to make changes in life, when we want to restructure our life, when we want to achieve goals we were not able to achieve so far, and we bumped into some sort of obstacles that we did not even understand what they were or what they are, okay? So let's say you've got a certain goal in mind, which is, um, I'm not sure what it is, you know what that is. So you think about that goal, and, and when you think about a goal and you picture yourself already there, doing the things you want to do, achieving the things you want to achieve and stuff like that, you say, is there any tension inside me in relation to this goal? And you answer that question truthfully. Get in touch with yourself. Do a little bit of a deep breathing in and out. Ask yourself, is there any tension in connection with this goal? No. Or yes, it doesn't matter what the answer is. You answer it truthfully and you exhale. While you're exhaling, exhaling it, you're exhaling all that tension. You're letting all that tension out. All these old limiting beliefs that are inside you, you're letting them out. And you have to do that on a daily basis more than once a day. You're focusing on your goal. You are visualizing your goal. The visualization is, you know, okay, but it's not even that important. What I mean with visualization is that you can feel you're already there. You, you have to feel it with your whole body, not just visualize it. Even if you don't visualize it, you need to feel it. Is there any tension in connection with that goal? No. Or yes, it doesn't matter. Exhale it, let it out, let all the tension out in connection with that goal. And 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 implant your thoughts with your with your new goals, with the new beliefs, like for example, it's good to have a lot of money. I can do beautiful things with, with having a lot of money. It's not that important to have formal education. I can do great things without formal education. You know, all these things that you want, that, that are maybe your new beliefs, you have to tell them. You have to experience them inside yourself. And you have to release all the tension that's connected with them. Because if there are any, any limiting beliefs already inside you, they will put up resistance towards these new goals, towards these new beliefs that you want to have, and you will feel it as a tension. And as you go on a daily basis, day by day, you need to let this tension out. And you do it by inhaling, asking yourself a question, or saying to yourself this new belief, and then <sighs> exhaling it loudly, letting it all out, letting all this resistance out, all this tension that's connected with your old limiting beliefs. And that's how you're going to get rid of them. You need to do that on a daily basis, day by day, many more than once a day, I would say for at least 30 days, and you will change it. You will rewrite many things in your subconscious mind. You will get rid of many limiting beliefs. And you will be able to create and form your life the way you want it and achieve the goals that you want without any major resistance inside you. Because what's resistance? It's limiting beliefs inside your subconscious mind that you need to get rid of. And it is possible, it doesn't take long, but it takes daily practice. Do it as I showed you. Follow my channel. I've got many more other videos and still more coming on the topics, the same topics or similar topics. And also use the programs that recommend recommend underneath each of my video. Join me. Work on yourself and enjoy your life. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.